parents of star children know I, that their I've talked about this over and over and over again on my channel. And, talking about seeing and now Discovery, or no, see. History Channel is doing the same thing now. Or hearing things other people can't hear or knowing things that other people don't know. Some of the star children have very high energy. They can go long periods without sleeping, without eating. It's just not your normal, typical child. According to Nikki Patillo, her daughter Maddie has told her that her home is in the sky and has displayed numerous astonishing abilities like telekinesis and psychic visions. But could 10-year-old Maddie Patillo really have superhuman abilities? In 1982, the Chinese government launched a nationwide search for children with extraordinary abilities. Some of the talents they looked for were psychic powers, telekinesis, and the ability to manipulate time and space. There was one girl who could wave her hands over a bush that had buds of flowers on it and spontaneously accelerate time so that the flower buds popped open right in front of everyone's eyes. Some could read while blindfolded. Some could move objects to a telepathic. Isn't this what uh, the what Matrix talked about? Manipulating a spoon, bending a spoon. Some years ago now, the question then becomes, where does this extra human function come from? Is it some part of our extraterrestrial DNA that's been activated by the process that the Chinese put them through? Could we actually see a new, higher functioning, more advanced, superior human being in our future? In total, the Chinese identified more than 100,000 children who had what researchers refer to as extra human function, or EHF. Is it possible, as some ancient astronaut theorists suggest, that this is evidence that the star children phenomenon is real? A lot of people believe that the star children that are coming into our world actually vibrate at a higher level of existence than most humans do. It's a higher level of connectivity, a higher level of sensitivity that allows them to connect into the collective consciousness in a way that most of us have asleep. forgotten how to do. But I want to watch the this. potential of these children is exciting, and the possibilities are unlimited. There are those who believe that human beings are going through an evolutionary leap, and that some children are being born today with special abilities that future generations will eventually all possess. But could they have also been sent here with a profound plan? Perhaps one where we take over the task of preparing ourselves for our own extraterrestrial future. Coming up, transhumanism. It says that perhaps we should genetically modify ourselves to thrive in outer space. We are going to begin to form subspecies of humans as we head off towards the stars. Sometimes you're so All right, I wanted to talk about that. I've talked about star seeds a long time ago, but eventually it will and I bring it up frequently. Aspen 